What's up guys, welcome back. Hope you're in the mood for seafood because today I'll be showing you how to make stuffed salmon. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell to enable notifications as well. And this episode is sponsored by June Shine. Listen guys, probiotics are super important. I'm a huge fan of kombucha and I typically drink one every day. But when I want something a little bit harder, I reach for June Shine. That's why June Shine is a must try. If you ever wanted to taste test hard kombucha or you're just looking for the best tasting, guilt free, better for you alcohol option, well this is it. It's hard to believe this stuff is 6% alcohol. I can drink a couple of these with absolutely no hangover. One of the things I like most about this product is that it's made with quality ingredients, super low sugar, full of healthy probiotics, and it's ridiculously refreshing. Well, you know what that sound means. Time to pour myself a little kombucha flight. Let's give these a taste test. All right, guys, almost every customer review online is raving by the flavor of this midnight painkiller, which happens to be my favorite also, but that blood orange mint is a really close second place. You really can't go wrong though. Click the link below to get June Shine's best-selling variety packs and get 20% off plus free shipping. June Shine is now delivering nationwide right to your doorstep. You heard that right. Click the link below to get June Shine for 20% off and and free shipping. All right, guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. We're getting this started with our stuffing. We're gonna dice up half of one yellow onion, and then we're gonna chop up about three or four slices of thick cut bacon. One quick pro tip, it's a lot easier to slice this bacon if you put it in the freezer for a few minutes before you start doing that. Next, we're going into a cold skillet with that sliced bacon. This is important because a cold skillet will allow the bacon to render more bacon fat, and we need that fat as flavor for the rest of this dish. Speaking of flavor, we're going to leave that bacon grease behind and use a slotted spoon to remove the cooked bacon. And then into that bacon grease, we're going in with our diced onion from earlier. Working over medium low heat here, we just want to saute that onion until it gets nice and tender. We're showing up to the party with AP, which is all purpose seasoning. You can get that via the link in my description box. We're also going in with a teaspoon or so of minced garlic or garlic paste. We want to give that a good mix, make sure everything's worked in, and then we're going in with two cups of fresh spinach. At this point, you can kill the heat and just allow that residual heat to cook down that spinach because it really doesn't take that long. If you cover it with a lid, the steam will allow that spinach to cook a lot faster. In a separate mixing bowl, we're going in with eight ounces of room temperature cream cheese, and then we're going to dump our onion, garlic, and spinach mixture right on top. That residual heat from the onion mixture is gonna allow that cream cheese to melt even faster, which is what we're looking for. Next, we're gonna add in that diced bacon. Just get in there with your rubber spatula and mix things around until all those ingredients come together. We're gonna to season that up with a little all-purpose seasoning, a little fresh lemon juice. Give that a good mix as well. Allow time for all those flavors to come together. And then we're going in with four to six ounces of lump crab meat. If crab's not in the budget because it's astronomically expensive right now, you can leave the crab meat out or you can add some diced shrimp, something like that. This recipe is good without the seafood too for my folks with shellfish allergies. As a binder, we're going in with about a half cup of breadcrumbs. Just use your rubber spatula to fold all of that together. And then you wanna pop this in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes. That step's important, guys, because it helps prevent your filling from leaking out during the cooking process. And now for the star of the show, two beautiful eight ounce salmon fillets. At this point, you wanna take a very sharp knife, fillet knife, something like that, and start with the thickest side of the salmon. And you just wanna create a pocket for your stuffing. So use your fingers as a guide, obviously keep them away from the sharp blade. But just use your fingers to feel around and develop that pocket for your stuffing like you see me doing right here. It's not as hard as it looks, just you know, take your time, be patient. Once you've got your pockets on your salmon, we're gonna flip them over and season the skin side first. I enjoy the salmon skin and there's tons of nutrients in the skin of the fish, so I don't like to remove mine. If you hate the salmon skin, you can go ahead and remove yours. We're going down with my all-purpose seasoning first, which is a blend of salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder for those of you that don't have it yet. Next, we're going down with some Cajun seasoning. Just pat those seasonings in, flip them over so we can season the flesh side. I got these beautiful salmon fillets from Wegmans. Going down with the all-purpose seasoning again, 
then we're going down with the Cajun seasoning. And then finally, we're going to top this with a very light layer of chili powder. That chili powder is going to help this get nice and dark when we sear it. Give it a nice blackened salmon look. Be generous with the seasoning here. There's that chili powder we just talked about. Our ovens are going to be preheated to 400 degrees. As always, guys, specific measurements and ingredients can be found in the description box below. So don't forget to check that out. You can also grab your all-purpose seasoning via the link in my description box. It's on sale right now. Once we got the salmon seasoned up beautifully, we're going to go ahead and stuff the salmon fillet. So be generous here, but don't overstuff it. So just use the back of a spoon to kind of press the stuffing in. Oh man, you guys are in for a treat. This is one of my favorite recipes. It comes together pretty quickly too, guys. You can make this in less than an hour on a weeknight. Pair it up with some mashed potatoes and your favorite veggie. We're going to preheat our cast iron skillet over medium high, add a little avocado oil to the party. And then we're going to lay the salmon in skin side down first to develop that color that we're looking for. After about 45 to 60 seconds, the salmon should have the color that we need. And then we're going to flip it over using a fish spatula. Oh man, look at the color on that salmon. That's perfect. Right now we're just looking for color because we're going to finish this in a 400 degree oven. One quick pro tip for stuffed salmon or stuffed chicken, anything stuffed, you want to position the fish so that the stuffed side is facing the wall of the skillet and that'll naturally prevent your stuffing from leaking out because really it doesn't have anywhere to go. So that's what we're going to do there. We're going to add a little butter and base the salmon, mostly just to show off, but butter does make everything delicious, right? So break out the spoon, give those a little basting, because why the hell not? And then we're going to pop those in a 400 degree oven. Say it with me, guys, looking good. Salmon cooks in about 10 to 12 minutes or until it hits 140 degrees internal temperature. While we wait on that to happen, I'm going to show you guys how to make this delicious Cajun cream sauce. We're going in with two tablespoons of butter, one teaspoon of Better Than Bouillon lobster base. If you can't find the lobster base, you can order it on Amazon or you can just use the veggie base, which is found at most grocery stores in the chicken stock aisle. Next, we're going in with one tablespoon of all-purpose flour. That's going to be the thickening agent for this sauce. Once it starts to foam up, like you see right here, you know that the flour is well incorporated. And then we're going in with our chicken stock. Increase your heat to bring this to a boil, and then we're going to reduce that down to a simmer. That should thicken up your sauce beautifully. At which point we're going to add in a quarter cup of heavy cream. Again, guys, all the specific measurements and ingredients can be found for you in the description box below. Break out the whisk just to make sure the sauce is smoother than a three day weekend. Hit it with a little seasoning if it needs it. Keep in mind, guys, that that Better Than Bouillon product does have quite a bit of sodium in it, so you may not need to season this sauce very much. And then we're going to plate this bad boy up salmon filet on top of a bed of asparagus and mashed potatoes. Brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Oh my goodness, look at that. Let me know in the comments what you think. I think we got a little food porn going. I'm going to give you guys a moment of silence to enjoy this. Plate that up with a charred lemon and a little fresh chopped parsley for a pop of color. Beautiful presentation on this one. Let me know in the comments if you guys plan to make this one. Only thing left to do is give this a taste test. Break out the fork. Here we go, trying to get that perfect bite. You guys know this one's money. Going back for seconds. Definitely a fork drop recipe, and that's my recipe for stuffed salmon, guys. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and that bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support. And another big thank you to our sponsor today, June Shine. You guys have got to give this stuff a try. It is fantastic. As you can see, the website is super user friendly and easy to use. Go ahead and click the link in my description box to place your order today and try one of these amazing flavors. As you can see here, we have tons of flavors to choose from. They're all delicious. My favorite was the Midnight Painkiller. Make sure you come back and tell me what your favorite was after you click that link in the description box to get your 20% off plus free shipping. Try June Shine today.